Good evening. La Cueva's head football coach is out, and the school could even lose its football team or other sports programs if there's any more trouble. That is the word from the Albuquerque School District. Superintendent Winston Brooks came down hard today after an investigation confirmed at least one football player was drinking on a team bus last month. News 13's Katie Kim is live in the Newsplex. Head coach Fred Romero, assistant coach Mike Tache, and trainer Jeff Archuleta are now suspended without pay until winter break. Superintendent Brooks says at least one of them knew about the drinking on the bus, but won't say which one of them. The other two are in trouble because APS says they should have known. La Cueva's entire athletic department could also pay the price. Brooks announced today that La Cueva's athletics program will be on probation through the 2011 to 2012 school year. That means APS officials will be monitoring them very closely. If La Cueva violates probation, the district will consider suspending a team or the athletic department altogether. In addition, all La Cueva student athletes and coaches will need to complete an online course about the dangers of alcohol. The La Cueva athletic department will also need to submit an improvement plan to the district by the beginning of next semester. This could include procedures about how coaches supervise kids on a school bus. Brooks stressed the seriousness of the situation and mentioned this is the first time he's ever required this. Since I've been here, there have been four very serious um, set of allegations made against the La Cueva Athletic Program, more so, more so than any other athletic program uh, in the school district. Now, one of those involved, former head baseball coach Stan McKeever, who was fired last year after APS found out he hired strippers for two players during an out-of-town trip. Romero and his assistant will be reassigned to other positions within the district effective January. Back to you. All right, Katie. APS says investigators have not been able to nail down which specific player or players were drinking on the bus. If they do nail that down, those players could be suspended from extracurricular activities for up to 45 days.